What superpower would actually suck in real life? The ability to read minds. I don't know. If you grew up with it, I think you'd quickly learn not to take everyone's passing thoughts to heart. If you suddenly got it now you'd probably have a mental breakdown. It would be like reading comments on YouTube. Super speed. Sure sounds nice in theory, but it doesn't include fantastic eyesight to see everything. Your eyes would not have enough time to comprehend your surroundings, so you'd probably run into a wall and die. Or what if you ran super fast and suddenly tripped and fell? Death. Probably. Doesn't work in practice, unless you have assisting smaller superpowers. Super hearing. I have enough trouble falling to sleeps with the pipes noises as it is. I always imagine Daredevil accidentally listening in on random people taking a dump. Sure. Accidentally. There was an X-Men comic about a teenager who manifested his mutant powers to involuntarily absorb the life force of those around him. He just woke up one day and found piles of ash and empty clothes where his family was and thought his town was abandoned when he sees the same everywhere. Then he goes to school and witnesses what happened first and as his powers horribly kill a whole crowd of students, including this girl he possibly likes. In the end, only Wolverine could approach him due to his healing factor, and the kid allows him to mercy kill him out of despair. Any superpower that doesn't come packaged with the assortment of necessary add-ons for it not to be self-destructive. Super speed sure you can run faster than the speed of sound, but if you hit anything you're dead. You would need the reflex, sight, and durability amongst other issues for this to even be viable. Most superpowers have these drawbacks and need implied powers to support it. The ability to see through clothing, if you cannot control when you use it, eventually you just get used to seeing everybody naked. Extremely ugly or extremely attractive people probably wouldn't phase you any more than they do now. You can freeze time for a minute, but you freeze with it as well. If that's true, could it be possible that one of us in real life may be stopping time regularly, but doesn't know, because they freeze along with it too? A fun read along that topic is Terry Pratchett's Thief of Time. Super smell. Getting a crowded elevator would suck. Public restrooms already smell bad. Image how they'd smell if your scene of smell were 1000x more powerful. Welcome to the world of dogs. Diarrhea man. Opset superpower not superpoverty. Stopping time. As time is stopped, so does the movement of sound waves, so you would be deaf. I guess you would also be blind, because light would also not travel without time. There are probably a lot of other issues as well. Light would also not travel without time. I like to believe, if you froze in time as you moved you would see the light there. However, in a brief period of time your retinas would be coated in light and you'd be able to see nothing but a bright white flash of overwhelming brightness. So to see something from a different angle you'd have to close your eyes, hope you don't blind yourself just with the light, contained within your eyeball, move to the different angle, open your eyes, then move forward about 1 inch, to move your retinas to the light at the front of your eyeball. Being immortal and impossible of being hurt by anything, like knives, bullets and fire can't harm you in any way. One day the earth would burn, because of the sun, and you find out that not even a star can't kill you. You would pretty much outlive the universe, and be left floating in deep space, in total darkness. Man, I wish I'd never found that goddamn lamp. Stupid effing genie. I just had to blurt it out, didn't I? I wish I were immortal. Half the time they can't even make you immortal, but Samalabim of the Seven Wines just snapped his fingers and said it is done. Damn, was I stoked. I don't even remember what my other two wishes were. Doesn't make a damn bit of difference now. Oh, it was awesome for a while. I was all jumping off buildings and death, getting shot and electrocuted, eating glass, the whole extreme sports gambit. I did it all. Nothing could kill me. Then all my friends and family started dying. That really sucked for a while. I made new friends, but they died too. After 6 or 7 times through with that, I figured friends weren't really worth it. I lived like a refing hermit puff how long did that last? 2, 3000 years. 4, tops. Yeah, I started talking to people again. Made new friends. They died too, but I was over it by then. Mankind did some really amazing stuff over the next couple hundred million years. 
That was awesome to see too. At first, I went to all sorts of planets, watched them move stars and build Dyson spheres. They even cured themselves of all known disease and started living longer. It was so nice to have some friends that didn't just die after a hundred years or so. But then they started evolving. People were turning into pure energy left and right. I couldn't do awesome stuff like that, stuck in my immortal body. So I made my way back to Earth to see how they were doing there, but it turned out to be long since abandoned. So I was stranded on this worthless rock I'd seen a million times over with nothing to do. Yeah, the planet had changed quite a bit since I'd last been there, but I still wasn't occupied for more than a million years or so. After that it was boring as hell. I remember once I just sat on the edge of a cliff and waited for whatever continent I was on to drift into another one. Jeez. But it seemed to keep getting hotter. Now, my immortal ass can stand any temperature you could throw at it, but that doesn't mean I wasn't uncomfortable f. It was hotter than two rats surfing in a wool sock. Pretty soon, the oceans were boiling. Now that is a sight to see. I even went swimming in it. Real smart, you effing genius. I lost track of time, and before I knew it, the oceans were effing gone, and I was sitting at the bottom. Everywhere I went trying to get back up, bam, continental shelf. Took me a thousand years to find a way back up. The whole thing was desert by that time anyway. Then there was this galaxy that was effing huge in the sky. It got so big, it took up the whole damn sky. After a while, you couldn't tell its stars from the normal ones. Then all the stars, new and old, started moving around in all these weird patterns. It was some show, let me tell you. Most interesting thing I'd seen in a while. But just as it was getting good, the goddamn sun exploded. Now, the sun exploding itself was an even cooler sight than all those extra stars. It got really damn big. Hotter than hell, but worth it. And then bang, Ether started exploding. It kept going off for probably a billion years. It was awesome at first, but, F, give it enough time and anything is boring. By the time it was done it was like night all the time and the sun wasn't all that much brighter than the other stars in the sky. Not to mention that it was cold enough to freeze the balls off a brass monkey now. So I waited. And waited. I memorized the stars and came up with names for all of them. And I waited. It was so effing cold, I didn't move around that much. I couldn't even tell you how long it was, cause it was too damn cold to think f, how I waited. But then the damnedest thing happened. There was this huge, deafening roar. The sky was on fire. It started getting hot again. The wind got stronger and stronger, until I was flying. Then came the loudest effing sound I've ever heard in my life, and I found myself flying up and away from the earth itself. When I finally got far enough away, I figured it out. Must have been an asteroid or something. Big effer, though, there was a sizable chunk of planet missing. A lot of it was still glowing red hot. Now let me tell you, I thought it was cold on solid ground with no sun, but that was nothing. Empty space is effing cold. That and not being able to breath. Damn, that was an unpleasant time. I drifted away from what was left of the solar system. After I while I could see the giant cloud of stuff left over from when the sun exploded. But then I just kept going. Man, it was a long time. Trillions of years, probably. I landed on planets or even in stars from time to time. If I was on a planet, I was never there more than a billion years or so before another effing asteroid came and threw me off of it. When I landed in stars, hotter than F, I just had to wait until it exploded and sent me off in some other direction. It really sucked. But eventually I drifted out of the galaxy altogether. Of course it was nothing like that big pinwheel they told us it was in junior high. Just a big irregular blob. Just drifting and drifting. Still couldn't breath. I passed other galaxies. Even from where I was, I could see stars exploding in the close ones. That was cool for a while. But I guess they were all running out of stars or something. The galaxies kept getting dimmer. About the time the last galaxies were going out, I started to feel like I was going faster. A definite sensation of acceleration. I started spinning around. I don't know around what, but I could tell I was spinning from the few galaxies left out. I started to feel like I was stretching out too. And then I couldn't see anything at all. Not too long after that I just felt crushed and stopped moving. Just saying that doesn't do it justice. I couldn't even move myself anymore. 
I felt like someone had crammed me inside a refing show box or something. This went on for a long effing time. And I just kept feeling smaller and smaller and smaller. When suddenly I was free. Well, I wasn't being crushed anymore. But I still couldn't move, and still felt tiny as f. And I still couldn't see anything. But that's where it ended. Nothing has happened since then. Nothing. And that was a really effing long time ago. I've already rethought every thought I ever had at Google Times. That's not even an exaggeration. I counted. Yeah, I counted to a Google. That's how long I've been out here. Man, this effing sucks. Immortality blows. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.